Hello, my name is Edward Burgess and I work with Chagisk's Agriculture Catchments Program. Today I want to talk to you a bit about phosphorus, how it interacts with the soil and its impact on water quality. Phosphorus is an essential nutrient, uh, particularly when it comes to crop establishment, like with reseeding. Unfortunately, one problem with phosphorus is it gets very tightly bound to the soil. And in fact, when you take a soil test, it tests the available phosphorus, which is typically less than 1% of the total phosphorus that is in your soil. On well-fertilized grassland, phosphorus will accumulate close to the surface of the soil. And it could well happen that the amount of phosphorus in the top inch or two centimeters would be three times higher than what it is at eight or nine or 10 centimeters of depth. So it is important if you're taking soil samples that you take in grassland, that you take the sample to the proper depth of four inches or 10 centimeters. Otherwise you will get an inaccurate reading. Clay content, soil temperature and organic matter all have an impact, but the single biggest thing that you can do to change the availability of phosphorus in your soil is to get the pH correct. If you can bring the soil pH up to 6.3, it'll do more to make soil pea available than applying pea fertilizer. After a very heavy rainfall event, it'll carry both dissolved phosphorus in the water and phosphorus attached to soil particles that will run off into their streams and water courses. In a typical year, eight or 10 really heavy rainstorm events will carry over half the phosphorus that is lost in our rivers and streams. Spreading slurry or fertilizer on top of wet or frozen soils uh, adds to this when you get heavy rainfall on, on top of that fertilizer afterwards. If you wait until the soil has capacity to soak heavy rainfall events, it can reduce the phosphorus loss to our rivers and streams to one quarter of what it would otherwise have been if they were wet at the time of spreading. Eutrophication is the result of excessive growth of unwanted algae um, and in our rivers and streams phosphorus is the nutrient that causes this algae to grow and it results in a depletion in oxygen in our water which impacts on the life that would normally live in our water courses. A very small amount of phosphorus can cause this unwanted growth of algae, less than one unit per acre per year. If we want to try and reduce this loss, we need to spread our fertilizer and organic manures at the right time, in the right place, and at the right rate. And that will result in good water quality leaving our farms.